Oh, so relaxed. It's so beautiful out here. I suggest anybody seeing this video, get out to the metro parks as soon as you can. And if you don't live around here, get out to your local park because this is amazing. I love this. And uh, you know, I mean, not everybody's gonna love the wilderness. Not everybody's gonna love nature. But um, I'm pretty sure it should be calming to most of us. And it is so calming. <sighs> I feel like I could sleep for a year right now. But uh, there's so much more to see. It's just so relaxing. I love it. It's another pit stop and another bench. You know, my favorite places to rest. Phone's ringing. But I'm not answering it because we're at the park. Let me uh, get this focus going. I don't think we're right. Uh -huh. Now we're probably okay. Um, yeah. So we're just sitting here, and this is actually at a really cool part. Um, it looks the same as everything else to the untrained eye, but I'm trained, and uh, I'm telling you, it's not. Um, an example: there is a um, a cavern and a lake, or a lake. That's that's probably more of a creek, a creek possibly a river, but um, yeah, it's right there. See it? I mean, whatever. I mean, I don't think it's cool either. I quickly just want to point something out real quick as I'm journeying through the forest. I am reasonably sure when this tree fell in the forest it made a sound. I mean, there's pieces of it everywhere. I mean, what happened here? The world may never know. But um, I'm gonna continue down this path and investigate this mystery. Um, I'm guessing foul play was involved but we shall know shortly. Um, okay, uh, it's confession time. I'm in the middle of the forest and nobody could hear me uh, that I'm aware of unless there are some ninjas tracking me, but uh, that's just a, a nerdy dream of mine that I would actually be the, um, the subject of some kind of ninja hit. But uh, before this gets too weird, I'm just going to admit that um, I'm lost in the forest. I. Uh, you know, men usually have a lot of iron in their nose, and it's clear, me being a very ruggedly handsome man, that um, I probably have my good fair share of iron in my nose. But um, I sneezed once on the way, the way out here, and it kind of threw off my calibrations. And, um, okay, wait, wait a second, the sun is behind me, so, and it's, it's like, it's like five o'clock, I think, so it's setting that way. What does that mean? I didn't pay attention. I don't know what that means, and uh, what that really means is it doesn't help me. This appears to be a bad omen or a bad sign. I'm walking by, and I realize that there is some blood on this tree. And, um, I'm a little freaked out. I don't know what's going on over here. Someone smeared blood all over this tree. And, um, Like, there's been birds and animals chirping all day and, like, cougars roaring and wolves howling. There's nothing. It's completely silent. As if there's something in this part of the forest that has killed everything else and has smeared their blood upon trees. False alarm. That is not a uh, demon cave. And we are still relatively okay. There's, like, things moving all around me. And I'm not a timid man. As long as you come at me, but as you're creeping about, it kind of throws off my equilibriums or something, and um, getting a little spazzed. But uh, 
At least I'm really handsome. Uh, so I just kind of want to make just a little exhortation in uh, this day and in this video. Um, there is an unnatural amount of squirrels in this forest. And you could surely tell it's springtime because they're either very aggressive and there's a lot of them. And you know, some of them are somewhat suicidal because I don't take, I don't take lightly on being charged at. I don't care if you're two centimeters tall. Seriously, I can't tell if it's the same two squirrels on each side of me that keep on running up to me and turning around like they're trying to like mess with me or something. They're trying to punk me out. But uh, it seems like there's a squirrel every two feet. And I guess that probably means they're following me because they think that I have food. But uh, little do they know that I'm starving and I'm lost in the woods and I will be very little help to them. And um, I'm tough and I'm ruggedly handsome. And I'm not lost in the forest. I'm gonna make it home. I don't like jelly beans. And it's it's gonna be okay. I don't know if you could see, but uh, I just caught one little feisty critters in the act. Oh no, decisions, decisions. We have a fork in the road. But I wasn't kidding about the squirrels, check this out. And check out this sign, it's amazing. If you want to see squirrels, go down that path. And if you want to see squirrels, go down that path. But it doesn't say, oh, wait a minute, oh check this out, weak. If you go both ways there's squirrels. Wait a minute, is there any direction without squirrels? These squirrels are driving me absolutely crazy and they gots to go. Okay, this is the exit. Okay, I find the way out. I don't know where it's gonna spit me out, but uh, I found it. So, um, let's just, let's chalk this up to a victory. Uh, for the record, I was never lost. Um, I was just um, making these videos um, out of boredom. <laughs>